My name is Rhapsody, his name is Teak, and welcome back to the Ladder Streak for another season in particular. I'm, I'm, I'm spamming my click on this embark button, but it's not yet doing it because uh, there's, a, there's a readiness. Oh, perfect readiness right there. And it is a, a run of readiness to be sure. Choose a rare card to obtain 100 gold. Look, I'm to click 100 gold. Probably a rare card for my compatriot here. No penalties or spike slam. You know what? Remove the basic class card. I got 100 golds. I'm going to be running along with the run there. And then we're going to flip this back over to Teak and we'll see exactly what is going to be occurring over the course of this season. This season seven of the ladder streak is going to be Spire with Friends speed run. So here we've got Teak, who is going to be speed running through the run. While I'm off camera, I'm just going to be paused. There's nothing happening on my screen. You jump back to it. That's what's happening. I'm standing there in front of Meow. But when we do jump back to me, I will then be speed running and Teak will be doing what I'm effectively doing right now. The color commentary there of an uppercut pickup. Oh, you love to see it. If we're going to get into a commentator mode, I've got to get in the correct kind of gear for it. An uppercut is exactly the kind of thing that you want here. You've got the ability to extend your turns that you can take damage against certain elites. You'll be able to pick that up. Ooh, damage! My man just sees damage left, right, and center. The worst thing you can see in this kind of a circumstance is just nothing that provides you damage <laughs> because you'll just end up going so damn slow. Taking the Golden Idol with the HP loss as well. Ooh, my man playing risky. Look at those HPs. Just uh, <laughs> just, just dropping them left, right, and center, doing rests. A thing that commonly happens in these kinds of speedruns. Of course, Ironclad being one of the most common classes to speedrun this game with. This oh is a good choice. Press the start. Blugger Ball and stands up and gets ready to be bashed. The regret takes an effect that might make you, I don't know, reticent in the past, almost, uh, like, a, like a guilt, like an internal, I'm certain there's a word for that. The bash is just Probably stacking not. here consistently. Probably not, you're right. It's, it, people haven't come up for the word for that yet, but when they do, I will learn it We're still and never waiting. forget it. Oh, this Lager Ball incorrectly making the choice there in an instant to defend extra knowing that the next couple turns were very likely, if not <laughs> certainly, going to bring lethal to that Ooh. character. And I got Becco! Mm -hmm. And a flex battle trance. This is a hell of a pickup. In fact, I've already seen an impervious. That would have been the, the rare card selection that Teak would have made at the very beginning of the run. Um, making sure that he has some scaling burst defense for the kinds of turns like Hyper Beam, obviously. The split of the slime, although I don't necessarily... Is, is it slime here? It's uh, slime boss. It is indeed. Uh, obviously the heart comes to mind as well because this is a oh, speed no. run to the heart. <laughs> Who so they told oh, me. What? Oh. It's, it's a speed run. That's how it goes. It is. And it's also no, worth knowing. It is. It's entirely possible oh, this God. season is a speed run because <laughs> it's a speed run inspire with friends and it's speed running as well. You know, a lot of speed runners leave a lot of runs on the cutting room floor. So to speak, right? You'll have a 10-hour stream and you'll have three speed runs out of that that kind of make their way in a reasonable position. Uh, we're not going to be doing seated speed runs of any kind. So it is entirely possible that the speed run of the season is itself a speed run, any percent of uh, dying halfway through Ascension 1. So be prepared for the possibility thereof, although I am not seeing it in the near future fatigue who just uses exactly the tools. Oh my god, a smoke bomb as well? Oh, Pause? All right, I need Ready to start going. Uh, leave, uh, okay, the path over. Okay, I'm gonna need to make sure that I get some. Sorry, I'm, I, I was trying to solo commentate now. what you got. Rhapsody getting into his run. He has some idea of what kind of things he might find on this path, aware that his first elite will be Lagavulin, which might inform the picks, which will, by the way, look identical to <laughs> Discord, no! Which might look <laughs> identical to the kind of picks that I found going not for the relic pretty or rather not for the the regret here pretty wise i think a bit of a bold decision for me and boom there's an opportunity to send a rare draft 217 gold in the bizank you love to see it will raps opt for the early lagu do you feel strong enough looks like a yes and with that artifact potion potential to block i think it's the defense down actually which may not be as strong as potentially keeping the high speed unfortunately coming in with a little bit spooky health after those first two hits gonna be a tight one because without that impervious needs to draft some amount of block for these next two turns will you be able to line up exactly on the damage front looks like dead 
alive. Beautiful thing about Spire with friends is that you don't really ever die is the good thing. That pick looked different than mine, actually. I like the outcome, though. Pretty good one. Pulling a clash in there, knowing that a potential corruption is coming up ahead, but will it be? Hard to say. Try sentries is the second elite fight. Uh, this is looking bad for the adventurers, <laughs> but they're going to do their best here. A lot of health to play around. Take a nice aggressive path, I suspect, is the plan here. Full health, able to tank a couple of those hits. Unfortunately, the draws on those first two relics, not very combat-centric money and money. You can't just throw your greedy, greedy wealth at the enemies in this game. You have to sit on it like a dragon. You are forced to just sit and stew on your choices, on your wealth hoarding. You should have perhaps picked up a kunai or some kind of weapon. Ironclad, aren't you a combatant? What's going on? You're like a baron. You're acting like a baron. <laughs> but it looks like what Ironclad is about to be acting like is a victor, which is good. Two fights down, and this gives Tiki, that's me, the knowledge that the upcoming fight is going to be tri Sentry. should I decide to take another elite fight on 12 health. Not sure that's happening, baby. Quite a lot of money to potentially spend though too and that's going to be the case for rhapsody as well who's looking at that aka beko you love to see it Tr or the, the the double hit there a very reasonable pick coming out of aka beko twin strike getting that upgrade right away man that's a potentially really strong opener with a nice tight deck and we know that there may be some flex coming too upgraded uppercut Honestly, Rap stack looking pretty freaking strong right now. Drafts one ghostly armor, and that is how you detect that this is a player who's played against a heart because the heart do damage and you have to block it. No matter how fast you think you are, the heart demands that you live for at least four turns, okay? Maybe three turns at Ascension 1, and so you're going to have to block some. Rhapsody correctly picking the card that says some block on it, and boom, there's the scaling. Here's a courier. Boom, bang. <laughs> Bang, boom. Think All I'm the way go through with it. the freaking fire. Okay, what do we, you just go through the boss? Yeah, yeah, I love it, I love it. Just keep the pace, keep the pace. Open and strong, keeping the ghostly armor in rotation, doing a bunch of damage with that bag of marbles on turn one, not quite proccing the kunai, and then a slow turn two, but that means lined up for a really fast turn three with the twin strike there's the kunai proc two 57 health almost no chance for the enemy here the slimes are already dead they just don't know it yet you should write a will it's probably a good idea to write a will your estate <laughs> will need to be managed <laughs> post-mortem <laughs> i'm sorry slime do you have a next of kin can you please announce your status looks like the gray slime is down and splitting and uh, without any extra strength, they're not going to die to a single strike, especially with the weakness online, but it looks like they took a less aggressive path. Rhapsody, since the last time I talked about health, has only lost 10 life. And all that health is coming back, too. Health is a resource here in Ascension 1 in the Mirror Match speed run. Looking pretty clean. It's just about cleaning up the bits. The dominoes, so to speak, which have fallen on the table. So many pips lying dead on the ground. So many slimes. How many cooks? So many cooks. And, and, and so we need to be thinking about where we're going into our next act here, too. We know we have Kunai, we have Akabako Bag of Marbles, so potentially very strong turn one, which is great for speedrun, and we have a good activator for potential block for the heart once we get there in Kunai. Just a matter of figuring out how best to utilize that, and boom, if that's not an offering, there's the speed that was ordered. Black Star... <laughs> Back on you. <laughs> Three energy. <laughs> okay. Now, we do have to buy this shop, which is still going to be done fast. But uh, I I detect, I'm not sure if you do, I detect that I could buy orange pellets and a pantograph here, which is probably exactly what the doctor ordered. So, boom, boom. I probably wanted that disarm, but I just can't seem to lift it. It'll happen and, uh, like I'm that. The disarms are... Uh useful certainly but you really need to get the aggression off the ground if you're going for an ironclad speed run we are in a circumstance here where i have obviously taken the early death that we have the ability to take i've lowered both of our maximum hp not necessarily a great line i did need a little bit better against that uh that lager ball and i should have added another damage card before the fact if i had the ability to add another damage card before the fact except i i reverted to my original instinct which is question marks question marks question marks rather than the fight uh it, it would have been a good direction to take there but it does mean that we have the ability to push through that more aggressive line. So I had the ability to pick up the kinds of things that Teak already had access to. I've got a lot of the same relics, especially the aggressive ones. I managed to get the bag of marbles, although that was from a chest itself. Uh, the Arkebeko, especially, is a giant, <laughs> giant pickup in the circumstance. Having to run away from a slime! 
oh, it hurts. But that is why we love the smoke bomb in that certain situation. Unfortunately, Teak there has to run away from the corpse on the ground, is deeply, deeply in intimidated by it is being offered another reaper and corruption man these rare picks that teak is going to get to be able to make as a result of passovers at the courier are going to be particularly effective here uh whether or not they will ooh, pull them across the line man there's a lot of different options here but it does really come down to whether or not teak is going to be able to support it with a <laughs> ah that's interesting i was wondering whether or not he was going to go for the the fiend fire but whether or not that was going to be feeling a little bit behind the curve just because of the uh, lack of draw that already exists in this deck uh and then going for something more in a sustained defensive kinds of situation that exists in the juggernaut it's worth noting juggernaut is a large amount of burst damage when paired mm. with corruption not only with corruption and feel no pain and just being out uh, feel no pain fear no pain fear no evil fear no evil is the other one fear no pain is feel no pain is this one uh not just paired with that kind of thing but the fact that you get to play a whole defensive hand and still do a giant amount of damage it will make sure that if Teak gets to play out that juggernaut relatively early he has the ability to pull himself back from it <laughs> we're now in a circumstance where it looks like Teak is going to be leaving that reaper Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's a three <laughs> HP situation right here. Remember what I said about the speed run of the season. We could end up on season eight very soon. It's entirely possible, <laughs> if not theoretically likely. We end up in a situation here where Teak is also choosing to throw away slimes earlier. That was something that I didn't necessarily do too much of in my own. I went for a, a, a relatively aggressive oh, no. split and then hoped that I was going to be able to ride out the edge of it. Uh, but especially without many AOE cards in the deck, that felt like oh, it was going to no, be a thing that totally was... true. I'm totally dead. <laughs> you say you did, but I did it in the log of and fight. And oh, that's no. been season seven. What do you think? <laughs> I think we won. Any percent. See you in season eight, baby.